All right, what up boys, it's DNZ, and today, very exciting day, went down to Powerhouse, yes, Powerhouse, it was freaking awesome. Um, this is one of those videos where you literally have to sit through the whole thing. It's so awesome. If you're a bug guy, if you like horsepower, this guy goes through everything. Uh, he tells you about the, uh, see, I don't want to ruin it for you guys. I want you guys to watch this video, okay? It's so good from like, as soon as he starts talking through the whole thing. I mean, I didn't even edit it. That's how good this video is. Or how good this guy is, you know? He explains everything. I know I've showed you the bug in the background. You know, it's kind of a, uh, I don't know. Shit. Here, I'll put a picture of it right. I'll show you later. But yes, the engine is coming from Powerhouse. We went, we took the carbs up. They're all polished out. And he talks about horsepower, all the freaking ins and outs, everything you could imagine. So, watch it. <laughs> Headed to Torrance, California to Powerhouse to drop these off. Alright, so we walk in this place. So you walk in here. Let me give you the front first. All right, let's just start from the entrance. Okay, I'm ready. So when you walk in here, this is what you get to see, right? Very nice, very beautiful. Love this. Looks great. Okay. They even got books for sale. It's not a car, okay. it's a bus. <laughs> and then we come back here. This is where the magic happens. Look at this. Beautiful. Look at this place. What do you say? They're not clean enough? <laughs> not we gotta do some better work? <laughs> Damn it. He's gonna take care of it. Nice. Hey, you're fine. Awesome. Uh, you mean, uh, your best bet is to push it out. Okay. So what are we looking as far as time-wise from now on? to when We're a little we're behind there. right now. You can, see that. you can see how busy we are. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing. Look at this. Awesome. Wow. 
So what are these? I had a mind. Is that your last name? Um, it's uh, where's he on the on the Mosqueda. M O S Q U E D A. So if we had to buy these today, what what do you think would cost us? So, uh, regular set right now is about fifteen, sixteen hundred for a Spain set. An Italian set probably goes for a little bit more. I would say these are probably uh, without the polish. I'd say, you know what I mean, right in there. And then you polish, which is going to cost about 500 bucks. So I'd say about 45 bucks uh, for a set. They're not the, uh, I love IDAs. One of my favorite carburetors. They're not very driver friendly. Oh, really? Yeah, they're on, it's like an on and off light switch. You can't put any air cleaners on. They make the most fun. Yeah, you can't put no air cleaners, so they, they take caps. Hmm. Uh, red caps that go over the top of them. So when you're done, uh, when you spark yeah. or restore it, uh, I have a bigger Did, uh, does he already have the, the engine somewhat put together? These, these are the big, these are one yeah. of the big stacks. Uh -huh. You have the, the, the smaller ones on here. Mm -hmm. But they do make big, big, you just gotta, you know you gotta kick your deck lid off on this. Your deck lid won't close. So you have to put deck lid offsets on it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Now that you're doing that, they make these big old monsters. You can order them from JC. They're big monster stacks. <laughs> They're taller, fatter around. They almost look like... These are the cheaper ones? <laughs> Hey, this is uh, John. This is uh, uh, the older brother, Mikey. Hey, Pedro. hey, hey Don. Yeah, 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 no worries. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, which is this motor right here? Yeah, yeah. That's bringing us the IDAs. Okay. Yeah. I forgot. Right, he's on the next back. Oh, cool. Yes. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So uh, he forgot the colors. The colors. Whatever. Oh, okay. The base. You say deal with mallet to us. Yeah. Uh, but he brought the idea to Spain with the full. Oh, bitches. Awesome. Let me get this machine. So yeah. I just marked his name on him. And oh, I checked. Oh, I, awesome. I, I checked the. Uh, I just have to clean them up a little bit. Oh, okay, cool. They're, they're fine. Everything's going to work out. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah, super cool. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. But I was explaining them a little yeah. bit. I don't know. See, he's got a uh, tall jet. Uh, yeah, we can put shorties in there. Does he want the tall ones? Well, I don't know. I don't know if we have the jet holders that are two, that are okay, two, uh, three, short. We might. Let me set. Let me give yeah, give, go ahead. Go you're fine. Right. Right. Go ahead and do your thing. So, uh, so that that's the yeah, the short the short jet holders will close the stuff. But okay, so these carburetors, I don't have a set up here. Like I said, these. So these are. So this, these are a set of 48s too. They're IDS, comes with, with air cleaners. More driver friendly, it's got a middle circuit in them. These things have a very distinctive sound and they're horsepower like kings. Uh, <laughs> they're fun, don't get me wrong. <laughs> but every once in a while, if you're sitting at a light, they'll load up, mm. uh, which they'll just kind of get a little flooded and you have to whop, whop, clean them out. And sometimes when you're coming around the corner, you're a pop, pop every once in a while, and you just gotta whoop, whoop, clean them up. But when you jump on these, they're very noticeable. Uh, and they, they really get down and have fun. There was no linkage, so you're gonna need linkage. 
uh, which we can get for you. That's not a problem. Okay. Just gotta let let us know if you if you bought them just like this, the yeah. pair without yeah. linkage. Okay. So, and let me check your motor real quick because if it's a Porsche shroud, John got to do something special to the linkage. We run only crossbars. We don't run that behind the back kind of shit. No, it doesn't work. <laughs> so. We're very up front with, with how we do our four quarter real quick. Uh, it is a four shot. Yes. A four shot. It is or? Yeah. yeah. You, you yep. will, uh, I guess your brother or something ordered the motor with four shot 2387. So you're going to have about 200 horsepower. You'll burn through three gears in this thing. Wow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good thing it's got a five gear. It's got a five speed engine? Yeah. Okay, so let me tell you about the five speed. Oh boy. Five speed really ain't, doesn't, so your one through four is gonna be the same. Uh, what they do is they, first, second, and third is gonna be uh, really short, wow, wow, short ratio. Fourth, fifth gear is gonna be like a normal bug, uh, fourth gear. They call it a glorified fourth. So you're not gonna, have, it's not gonna be able, you're only gonna be able to still do 65, 70 on the freeway. That's about it. For long distance. That doesn't mean you can't do 90 to 100. <laughs> if you're going long distance, you just want to cruise the thing. So you want to look at your tack, make sure you hit 3,200 RPMs or less. And then when you hit 3,200 RPMs, when your speedo says 65, 70, that's about it. For long distance, so the motor don't overheat and you don't wear it out. You gotta pay real close attention to that because volts, like I said, they can't put a real tall gear in a five speed or a four speed. So we can only go so fast for long distance, but for, uh, you know, if you gotta pass traffic or, or go up a hill or you just wanna gun it, have fun. Volkswagen's are kinda sketchy after 65, 70. Wait, wait till you get it at 65, 70, you're gonna be like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> cancel that order. Yeah. <laughs> You get the small motor. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but you'll have fun on the street and come around the corner when you just jump on it. So, street night to street night, you'll have a blast. I have three. You'll have I a have really good time with it. Best so motor. It's overkill, you really are saying. No, no, no. The bigger the motor, the less you got to beat up on them nowadays. Uh, because we run oil cooler kits and stuff like that. Back in the day, they used to complain and say, oh, because what they did is a short ratio training, kind of like what you got but nobody really bought the, the five speed. So you're gonna have four nice short ratios so of the thing that's gonna be a bullet. It's gonna piss every Porsche off, every guy in their Mustang, their, their you know what I mean? Uh, but your fifth gear is only gonna be like a, a high ratio, like a, a freeway four. <coughs> Being that, you'll see, you'll let them ride the car, it'll be like the front. <laughs> the smaller the motor, okay, there he is. The smaller the motor, the more you, when you got a small motor in the car, just to get past itself, mm -hmm. to get over a speed bump, your foot's all the way in. When, when, when you have a big motor, you're not into it as much, so you're not beating that motor up. <coughs> so the motor lasts a lot longer. It, it, it's a lot, it's a lot friendlier. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. If you're coming around the corner and you jump on that sucker, yeah, you'll have it all sideways. Yeah, you'll have a good time in it. Uh, super, super fun. Uh, pretty much, this is a 1914. Uh, I'll show you one of the other motors over here. So basically, we build the motor as if it's a race motor. Mm -hmm. so you got forged crank, forged flywheel, forged H-beam rods. It doesn't look like a stock rod, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, in your motor, we run a little bit bigger cam than what we normally run in a 2332. We run a, a 120 from our 1914s all the way up. Your 23, uh, your 2387, it's either gonna get a, uh, uh, an angle 130 or it's gonna get an FK8. Mathematically, they're about the same. Uh, sometimes the 1-4 ratio is not available, so we go with the 130 on a 125. When you do it on a calculator, it's the same as running an FK8 with, with a 1-4 ratio rocker. So it just basically is the same cam. Mm -hmm. Plus you get the bigger heads with your motor, which is a 40, this one's a 42 by 37. 
Yours is going to have a little bit bigger intake, so yours will be 44 by 37, which fit those carburetors a lot better. So yeah, it, it'll be nice, definitely. And your exhaust is a little bit thicker. Like this is uh, this exhaust over here. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. If we don't wrap them, this customer wants to wrap them. This will get real old with the tires. But you can tell this is a lot thicker than this one. This is one and three quarters, this is one and five eighths. Here's actually, this is one and three quarters too. It's bigger. Not by a whole lot, but it is bigger. It allows motor. How much uh, horsepower is that one throwing out? Because you got the. Uh, this one, we just. We only broke it in. We haven't done final tuning yet. This has got a pro charger on it. Um, our turbo motors put out about, we try to get it to the customer about 280. 280 horsepower? 280 to the ground, which is over 300 to the crank. Your, mo your motor's put out 200 to the crank, a little over 200, and it'll probably only be about 165. 160. <laughs> This motor, when we're done, should put out 500. Yeah. Our turbo motor over there puts out 430 to the ground, 500 of it. Right? That's yeah. Oh, shit. Willies. Yeah. Oh. Not in the street, they'll just blow the tires off. On, on track, yes. Yeah. Uh, it will do. Yeah. Uh, that car back there, the one they're getting ready to weld, ours. Yeah. It's our, uh, our race car. Uh, that one puts out, it's all motor, fuel injected. That motor puts out just 300 to 270. But it, no, no turbo. We only get we get that out of our turbo motors only. Because you can boost them up, boost them up, boost them up. But basically the internals and everything that you have in your motor is basically what we have on our on our turbo set as well. This one right here. Oh, this one's kind of much. This is uh, 2332. Waiting for a Porsche shop to come back. Same thing with that one, 2332. Wait, yeah, this one. No, this one might be good. It looks like it's a 23. This is a 23. This is a 2387. So this is just like yours with the big head on it. Oh, <laughs> shit. Your motor comes with these valve covers as well. Nice. Uh, you got you got a really nice setup. That's if I was I wouldn't go anything smaller than a twenty three thirty two. And you have a twenty three eighty seven, which is probably one of my favorite. So your brother orders you the right one. Yeah, it's not as money. Sure he did. You're lowering the bug and everything. Yeah, that was close. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you're gonna have a good one. You're gonna have fun in it. All right, so you're saying one is next, so it's going to be how many more weeks? Well, uh, you're on the next one, okay? So when I get all these out of here, or when I get complete these, I set up four more new ones. Yeah, it's usually, because uh, there's, is there's, uh, it's usually about, once I get it on the bench and start modifying and prepping all the parts, you can see I have to, Send the motor out out of balance. Uh, there's a lot of work in, in idle to just get it ready. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to clear it, make sure it's clear through the case and stuff like that. Uh, you should be done, I would say, six to eight weeks after I get it on the bench. You know what I mean? I, I'm probably going to get it up on here uh, within a week or two. You know what I mean? Hang tough. Please uh, be patient with us. We're trying our best. Uh, you know what I mean? It's, it's, uh, a, lot, it's a lot of work. Uh, we'll be ordering trout. Bernie's been doing a bunch of other things, so I've only been getting a few at a time. Uh, I should have some more coming in for the place that I can get. Once I get your long block filled, when it looks like just like that, then I can fit the trout, send the trout out and have it painted. Then by that time, you'll have the colors, the yeah. color for me. And then when it comes back, then uh, then I can put the whole top end back on. You know all right, cool deal. Well, let's get out of here. Where's your car? Where is it ready for it? No. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> you got to do interior, you know. You got interior and stuff to do. Okay, good. It gives me a little bit of time. Yeah. By no means am I going to like stall on it, but I mean, you know what I mean. Uh, by no means am I going to rush either. It, it's, you know what I mean. I just 
we just go with the flow and, and like I have one right here that the Stroud came in. We have been able to complete him. So uh, unfortunately, we were gonna finish this one when the guy came in and said, well, I want everything powder. Mm. Or everything powder coated. He wanted it to look like that one. I was like, are you kidding me? He's like, no, I want, I want all my carburetors powder coated and everything. I was like, no. okay, well then you gotta wait for a while because now I have to tape all that shit up, get it all ready, set it out, have it all powder, powder coated, wait for it to come back. And that takes time, you know what I mean? I don't know if you have any washing going on right here. Because it will strengthen your enamel and create that shield around. I'm excited for this product. I think you should really like it. This place is amazing. Wow. Amazing. Love this place. Let me just bring in sample base match material. Uh, Carp bring ideally. Add linkage. He's already kind of like gave it a uh, kind of a, a preliminary. It doesn't say anything about uh, it doesn't say anything about polishing anything else. So yours shouldn't be that bad. Uh, still take time. But pretty much what yours is gonna look like would be basically like with those valve covers, that same exhaust system. Your can is going to look like this. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, and then it's got a tensioner in the middle, like that one. Uh, I can either run black or, or polish. Normally, when I get your shroud, you get it painted. Um, if it's your car, do you like polish stuff? Yes. Okay, no problem. Because I get these in black or polish. Depends if they're available or not. You can see some of them. Uh, what we do is like uh, the customer, normally the customers, they hand me stuff and they just like, uh, like this guy with the yellow, he's like, well, go ahead, you do what you want. You know what I mean? Like, when we just, we don't like anything to look bad, so we, we do the best we can to make it look good. Oh, absolutely. So uh, sometimes, a lot of times, we use a black pulley with that motor. The yellow one I did over there, I didn't like the way the black pulley looked. Mm -hmm. So I got a fully polished one for them with no holes. And then I have to have this cut and stand seal. So it just depends, you know what I mean? When all your stuff comes and, and I'll start looking. Obviously, you got polished carburetors, so what I'll end up doing is probably polishing some of the pieces that I can by hand. We have a polisher back there. If it's anything big, I can't like do carburetors. You know what I mean? So I'll, I'll make sure it looks good in the end. For sure. You know what I mean? Very cool. A lot of it will be machine look like you see this stuff I polish. Yeah. This front piece is usually like uh, basically like uh, comes like this. You can see them all coming up. You know what I mean? I'll I can do best I can. But a lot of it's blocked by with a tensioner pulley. Uh, your your front pulley will look just like this one. You know what I mean? Which I can put a little polish on and stuff like that. Uh, your hair, your your valve covers will be probably silver like that. You know what I mean? So I'll try to try to keep that same kind of color tone going for you, but Right. Cool. Very cool. Right, man, we appreciate your time. No problem, bud. No I'll be calling you in two weeks. Going, yeah. I'll come and <laughs> This is the back end of it. Mm -hmm. so just, but we have it. It's registered, too. This is ours as well. I actually like this time color, bro. Oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, that color. He likes the the tan, the tan in the back. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that inside of that one's the same color. Oh yeah. So we match this car. It'd be like that car. This car's all fiberglass. Oh, it's like mm. wow. fiberglass or electric. So this is pretty much a race car. Yeah. That we actually have it registered. In. So we can do this in the street. Shit. Uh, this is all like 
narrowed six inches in there. You can see this one's narrowed too. Mm -hmm. See how deep the back wheels are? Yeah. Because we don't like wheels to stick out, so we had it cut and narrowed. Yeah. And then we did the whole fabricate in the back. That's a big three liter motor. I'm thinking about 88 by 105. It's got wheelie bars, everything. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That car runs at six. Right now. Put the clamp there, it'll protect it. Yeah, but, because it's close, but, and this is still rated, so underneath the clock. Yeah, I was thinking of doing some down there, too, yes. Got a little bit of here and there, but, I mean, you take good care of it. Narrow six inches in the rear, narrow four inches of the front, yeah, scale. And the motor is pretty I like the tires on this a lot better, as far as the all the The stance? Oh, yeah. I like how it looks. Yeah. Well, once we. Depending on how you're doing yours? Yeah, yeah. at the end, because no engine is, looks weird right now. Oh, it's yeah. sitting up high? Yeah. 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 Now, as soon as we. Uh, yeah, we can always change the wheels and stuff like that. Did you tires. get your front beam? Is it narrowed? Yes. So, yeah. did you do a four inch? Uh huh. Yeah, perfect. Yep. It'll, it'll look like this. Yeah. And yeah. then what size tire? 135s in the front? Uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. And I think the back you'll be able to. Did you, you're on a five and a half inch rim? Or six? Uh, five and a half. Five and a half? Yeah. You can possibly get a 205. So your rear tire, if you want a nice meat in the back, mm -hmm. you can run a 205. Sometimes you can get a 215 in there uh, by 65 series. If you go 65 on the height of the tire, so 205, mm -hmm. 65, 15. Are they 15 inch wheels? Yes. It should have the same as the front. So if you go 65 series, it won't be a shorter sidewall. It'll be the same sidewall. Oh. So okay, make sure so when you order saying. your tire, yeah. 205 width, 65 series tallness by 15 will set you up perfect for your front 135 fronts. So the tires look even. You don't look like you got a low pro in the back and the mm -hmm. tires got more. You know yeah. what I mean? And when you bring it down, you should be able to set it down right in right in this area. Yeah. Yeah. You should be able to set it down exactly like that. So yeah, what year is it again? It's a uh, 54. 54? Yeah. Okay. 54. 54. So, oh, oh, perfect. So the poor Stroud, I cut it back. So the motor, and then uh, remember that if you notice, let me, I'll show this to you as well. 54, it's an oval window. Yes. Okay. See this right here? Is it painted already? Yes. Yeah. Inside too? Yes. Okay. But I think we already cut that. Did you? I believe so because Perfect. we knew okay. we were going to go with this. This right here? Uh-huh. The valve covers are going to stick out like that. Okay. On all of them. Yeah. So it doesn't matter the size of the motor I build you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So already I'm gonna, when I build the front part of it, like when we do the Porsche Strauss, I already cut that tin back. So you're okay here to here. But you have to make sure you do this. Yeah. So the easiest way to do it is to pull the valve covers. When you go to put the motor in and look, you see if it touches and then try to put the valve covers on. And then if they don't go on, then you know you have to trim it a little bit more, okay? And then uh, one other thing to advise you on is see how we undercoated the inside of the fender wells? Yes. This one too. I'll show you why. So this was painted. This was painted all the way through. Doesn't matter on, on this edge. Doesn't matter here either. That's fine. But. Mm-hmm. It's in here somewhere. So what happens is when you drive it, if you don't undercoat the inside of the fender and a rock comes up, pink, it'll leave spider beans. Oh, uh, okay. So you want to undercoat the hand underneath of the fenders. Got it. That's all. Don't worry about going that way if you like the paint that way. That's cool. Uh, but make sure you, yeah, 
I was trying to find one for you. It sucks. <laughs> because it just one little ding and then it'll look like a spider web. It'll it'll one one shot. One little tiny rock. There's there's a couple in this car before we did it. It has like a little metallic to it, huh? Girl. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, guys, I was helping him. Oh, he came in the so I'm trying to make sure. Yeah, so just make sure you undercook the inside of your fenders, otherwise you'll be bumped. So bumped, yeah. Yeah, that really are. Yeah, should be have this car forever. Yeah, over this, I mean, something here, 25. Over from the old shop, so. Beautiful place you have here. In the, yeah. In the parts off of it, a lot of the parts that were on on it had been saved for almost 10 years prior to that. Well, from our old, like, number day, that, like, the yeah. rims and stuff. Yeah. And we had saved a lot of stuff for it. It's <laughs> clean for Got turkeys and stuff like that. <laughs> we went through a bunch of transformations. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, I mean, little by little throughout the years. Smells like grease cats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maybe something's leaking. <laughs> yeah, Maybe one of the fuel lines are leaking now. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. All right. All right. Thank All right. you guys. Appreciate it. No problem.